it's not always easy to bring up social justice. In bringing it up, it automatically points to the fact that the world is unjust. There's a, a desperate need to have leadership in this space of social justice action, and this is a place where that's gonna happen. In the past, social justice and social justice activism seems like it's always happened in invisible places. With this project, I feel like there's an actual building, something that embodies the idea of social justice in every way from its outside to its inside. Kalamazoo College had a really strong social justice history that really began with the individuals we think of as our founders. Alan Holbin talked about that your education didn't matter unless you could do something with it to have a positive impact on the world. I feel like this center is kind of reconnecting back with that history and, and bringing it back to life. The school has a history of social justice. They asked us to think about what a center like this would be like. So this diagram that we came up with, which is kind of has these three wings, allows us to create intense transparency in the three different directions of the different kinds of communities on our site, but also allows us to have pockets of spaces tucked away, different sizes of spaces, to have conversations that might not always be easy conversations. There is this kind of crossing over pathways that people can encounter each other even if they didn't plan to. Another element that really reinforces the social gathering component of the space is the, the hearth. We ended up being very inspired by the Shaker Meeting House. And what was beautiful about the Shaker Meeting House is everyone sat in chairs, equally seated, everyone's voice is equally valued, facing each other. Well, this was a strong collaborative effort that began with the initial planning, and then as we began to identify uh, potential builders, subcontractors, we wanted to make sure that some of Kalamazoo College's values were there, so we wanted to make sure that the subcontractors were diverse, that they included people of color and women and people from di different sexual orientations. It's a less visible part of the building at the end of the day, but you know there really was attention to detail of who was building, how the community was involved, how students also had a say in what the final building would be. And it was very democratic and it was very engaging and participatory. The cordwood on the exterior of the building was, was I probably the most visible, unique aspect of this project. Cordwood is, is it's a masonry process, but it's not a process that's ever been done in the commercial arena before. I'm very impressed with the level of craftsmanship that our tradespeople have put into this building. So everybody that has worked on the job has a whole lot of pride in what they've done. And you know, I'm watching uh, some of the, the, the tradespeople now walk around with their, you know, their cameras and stuff, and they're taking pictures, saying, "You know, I worked on this. This is something that I did." Using wood masonry was a technique that was incredibly sustainable. And so the idea of, of reviving that came to us, like would it be possible to actually bring this technique into the 21st century? Every single segment of tree is different. It's unique, it's like an individual's lines on their face.
I think this building brings a real nobility to social justice work. It's bathed in natural light. It's a very proud, noble space. When I look back and think about the work I did, it was in caverns and dark spaces, and it was late at night, and people worried about phones being tapped, and it wasn't front and center. I think this building says this work is front and center, this work is important, it's worthy in a special way. When I think about this building as the first building purposed for social justice, I'm hoping that it will lead architects who are doing this work to think about it differently. Nature being a part of it. Spirituality is in this building. A connection is in this building. It's, it's a real statement about how a structure can inform people. And that's actually social justice leadership at work.